Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft has also rolled out an update for Windows 11 version 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update, which is KB5041865. And once that update has been applied, the OS build will be bumped up to 26100.1591. Now, something just to take note of that's important. Windows 11 24H2 hasn't rolled out yet to the general public, but it is available on Copilot Plus PCs that were launched on the 18th of June and devices that were previously using Windows Insider 24H2 builds. So this will also apply if you are um, testing features in the Insider program in the release preview channel. You'll also have this update, which did roll out as a preview update a couple of days ago. So now with all that out the way, the highlights are very similar to Windows 11 22H2 and Windows 11 23H2's update I posted on earlier today. So if you want more info, go check that video out, but I'm just going to go through these quickly for the purpose of this video. Um, Widget Sport, apparently Microsoft say they are rolling out an update to the widget board to improve the security and the APIs for created widgets and feeds for users in the EEA regions. And the update also sets the foundation for new widgets and other features in development set to roll out soon. So we are expecting to get a couple of extra widgets according to that statement. So widgets board has received those changes in the EEA. And then I'm just going to mention the next um, Windows Share. Apparently this is a new feature where you can now share content to your Android device from the Windows Share window. And I posted a whole video on that. So I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. And then it's received the exact same File Explorer fixes for the stable versions of Windows 11. So I'm just going to touch on these very quickly um, because as mentioned, there's more info in that other video. There are three screen reader fixes for the File Explorer. And there are two fixes when you press Ctrl and F, sometimes the search uh, didn't start. And if you are using Shift and Tab, apparently the keyboard focus might get lost. So that's another fix. So five fixes rolling out for File Explorer, which I always think is a good thing. And then it also received the same uh, narrator fix or improvement where it updates scan mode to respond quicker. And apparently, according to Microsoft, this is helpful when you use Microsoft Edge and read large documents. So that also rolled out to the stable version. Now, because this is a non-security update, it will also include a couple of quality improvements, which are bug fixes. And there are one, two, three, four, five in total. And I'm just going to mention two that you may be interested in. Um, there are two deadlock fixes. Um, the first is for the domain name system, DNS, and the other is for Unified Writer Filter and Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. So there are two deadlock fixes which are quite important. And other than that, it updates the service in stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. So if you are in release preview or you have your hands on a Copilot Plus PC already, this update would be rolling out to you, which Microsoft released uh, yesterday in my region on the 27th of August. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.